This is the solution to quiz 13. The first question is essentially to solve a differential equation about population. Okay. So we are given that dp dt is 0.02p plus exponential t. Uh, and we're given that tp equal to 0, 10,000 is a solution. Okay, so <clears throat> this equation is not separable, so we'll use an integrating factor. <clears throat> okay, so then the integrating factor, we need to put this in standard form. So dp dt. Uh, plus negative 0.02p is exponential of t. Uh, so then, <coughs> this number is going to be uh, in the in the integrating um, factor language that we use. We call this this p, but we can't call it p in this exercise because we're saying that p is population but this is this is uh, the factor that we're calling p in the integrating factor so i of t will be exponential of antiderivative of negative 0 0.02 t uh, sorry dt So that is uh, exponential negative 0 0.02 uh, t. Okay, now we'll take this integrating factor and put it into the standard e standardized version of the equation. So that's exponential negative 0 0.02 t, dp dt, uh, plus exponential negative 0.02 t times negative 0.02 p is exponential of t, exponential negative 0.02 t. <coughs> okay, simplifying a little bit, this is d dt of exponential negative 0.02t times p. So that's the left-hand side is equal to the right-hand side because we have the product of exponentials. Uh, the exponents add. So that would be exponential of 0.98t. Okay. Now we can split the differentials. So differential of exponential negative 0.02 tp is exponential 0.98 tdt. We can anti-differentiate both sides to get exponential negative 0.02 tp is exponential 0.98 t divided by 0.98 plus uh, an unknown constant. So now we can figure out that unknown constant by using the initial data. <coughs> so when t is 0 and p is 10,000, so when t is 0, that's exponential of 0 times 10,000 is 10,000 equal to uh, exponential of 0 and then plus C so 10,000 times 0 0.98 
is 9800. And that's, uh, no, what am I talking about? <coughs> so that was a pretty interesting algebra, <laughs> novice algebra error. So not multiply both sides by this. I need to subtract that. Okay, so then <coughs> 10,000 minus 1 divided by 0 0.98 is uh, to several decimal places nine 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 eight point nine seven nine five nine two so that's C <coughs> so we can uh, now take this value of C and plug it back into here. So we have exponential of negative 0 point, so that is to say I'm taking this value of C and plug it into there. So exponential negative 0 0.02T P is uh, exponential 0 0.98 T over 0 0.98 uh, then plus this number, 9998.979592. Now we can multiply both sides by, uh, divide both sides by, by this number, by this exponential of negative 0.02t. So that's p is, so Dividing by exponential of negative 0.02t is the same as multiplying by exponential of positive 0.02t. <coughs> so that would give exponential of t divided by 0.98 uh, plus 9998.979592. Exponential of uh, 0 0.02 t, and then if you if you didn't do any any rounding at all because this number is rounded, uh, it would read p is exponential of t over 0 0.98 uh, plus 10,000 minus 1 over 0 0.98 exponential of 0 0.02 t. <clears throat> so that's the answer to question one. Exercise two is um, a first order linear differential equation. It is not separable, so we'll use an integrating factor. So we need to write the equation in standard form, dy dx plus 5 over xy is x. <coughs> so uh, writing this out. <coughs> This is uh, P. <clears throat> so the integrating factor I of X is exponential of antiderivative of 5 over X uh, DX. So that's exponential of five log absolute x. And again, we don't use the, the arbitrary constant because we just need one integrating factor. Um, so this would be exponential of uh, logarithm of absolute value of x to five. So that's absolute value of x to five. 
<clears throat> and because we just need one integrating factor uh, to get this to work, and because absolute value of x is always positive x or uh, negative x, that means that we can drop the absolute value here and just get x to 5 because we only need one integrating factor. <clears throat> okay, so then using that, uh, that tells us that x to 5 uh, dy dx plus 5x to 4y is x to 6. And so <clears throat> the left hand side is the result of the product rule. So the derivative of x to 5y is x to 6. So the differential of x to 5y is x to 6 dx. <clears throat> and then anti-differentiating both sides, that is x to 5y is x to 7 over 7 <clears throat> plus a constant. So now we can figure out that constant using the initial data. <clears throat> so when we plug in xy is 212, that should be a solution. So that would be uh, 32 times 12, because 2 to 5 is 32, is 128 over 7, because 2 to 7 is 128. Okay, so that's a weird number, but uh, that would be 32 times 12. That'd be 384, and then minus 128 over 7 is C. <clears throat> uh, so that would be, combining that into a single fraction, that would be... 3, 8, 4, times 7, minus 1, 2, 8. So that would be 2, 5, 6, 0, over 7 is C. So therefore, uh, we have x to 5y is x to 7 over 7 plus uh, 2, 5, 6, 0 over 7. <clears throat> and we can divide by x to 5. So then that's y is x to 2 over 7 plus 2, 5, 6, 0 over 7x to 5. And that's the solution.